Hello， 大家好，誒，我係 Sue Marguerite， 當時你收睇我嘅 Little Cantonese Corner。咁誒，今日我講廣東話好唔好？點解？因為其實我想解釋俾你聽，上個星期誒，我拍咗個 video 誒，講緊個啦，記唔記得？咁誒，第一次拍嗰陣時誒，我講錯個字。其實我想解釋俾你聽點解？點解我會講錯？因為如果我係你，我會覺得佢唔識。或者佢佢唔點解我會跟住佢學廣東話？如果佢自己都唔識，咁我想話俾你聽，放心，我真係我識講，但係上個即係上一個 video， 誒、嗯、大家都知道，我拍之前我會寫好曬喺個白板，咁但係嗰日我我冇 check 到誒、呃，我寫咗啲乜嘢？其實講真。咁我拍個 video 嗰陣時，我擰個頭，我睇我睇個誒呢個個 G A U， 咁我解咗個 accent mark， 咁唔啱嘅個 accent mark 唔啱，點解唔啱？因為嗰個 video 我講緊呢個夠，即係呢個夠 enough， right？ 夠啦，記唔記得？我哋講夠啦。咁但係因為我寫咗個 accent mark， 呢個 accent mark over the A going up， 咁其實我知道係九，即係如果你 pronounce。個發音應該係九 ，mid rising 九。咁呢個係第一寫錯 ，G A U accent mark 唔啱。咁第二咧係我，哦，我見到，因為我見到 G A U accent mark， 咁我，哦，九好似個誒 nine 九，見唔見咧？我話一二三四五六七八九九九唔啱嘅，完全唔啱。咁我梗係知啦，但係個問題就係我誒、嗯，我講嗰個啦。咁可能我記得我有一日覺得係有少少問題，有少少唔啱嘅。不過 ，oh anyway， it's written down， right？ So if it's written down， it has to be right。How many times if it's in print， people tend to believe it？ Well， I believed myself and it was wrong。So that's why I had to take the video down。And、oh, 真係我好唔開心，因為其實我個 video 我轉咗 private， 我唔知道原來你咁樣做就會冇曬所有嗰啲 comments 就冇曬，我都我都睇唔到。即係就算個 video 係 private， 佢會 delete 曬所有嗰啲 comments。So that's why I'm I'm so 我真係好唔開心。Anyway， 咁 that's why 誒、um, 上個 video 唔啱，誒、uh, 我寫錯同埋我講錯，同埋我我我 link 我 link 咗嗰兩個唔啱嘅，我話夠啦，即係呢個夠同呢個九係一樣，但係你聽得出係咪啊？九 and 夠係好唔同。Go is mid tone. Go, and the go is mid rising. Go. So let's take a look at the go first. So go is nine, right?、Uh, and I wrote go long, just in the, the the. I checked it. I made sure the long is the low falling. Long is dragon, or、uh, for go long nine dragons or Kowloon. So Kowloon was known as the Nine Dragons because when you looked at it a really long time ago, like in the 1800s, they still had nine nine hills for Kowloon. So they called it Gaolong. It looked like a dragon, right? Gaolong. But now they took some of those mountains down to reclaim the harbor for the airport, the old airport, and some other things. So there's no longer nine of them, but the name Kowloon remains. So that is one Gao. The second Gao is dog. Gao, Gao Zai,、uh, like a little dog. Gao is dog. Same pronunciation, different character, as you can see. And the third one, well, there are more, but the three I have here on the board is Gao Gao Chai. Like Gao 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 Chai is Chinese chives,、um, and Gao Chai Gao is the Chinese chive dumplings. They, I also see in the dictionary they call them scallions, but they're those like really dark green, at least the gao chai, and they have、um, gao long, right? Like a little bit yellower ones. But the gao chai gao is usually the really、uh, like flat green kind of chivey looking like things. So those are three ways to say the gao in the mid rising tone. Three different definitions, different characters, same pronunciation. Okay. Uh, in the last video we were doing, it was I was using go, which is enough. I didn't write the character for it then. Had I, maybe it would have been better, but I didn't. This is a character for go, enough. Okay.
And last time we did the gaula, right, gaula. There's another ga that I should have related it to, but I didn't because I'd written it incorrectly. And that one is the ga, which is save or rescue. So if you learned any survival Cantonese, you know that go man, go man, go man, go middle and man, go man is the save or um, save my life basically, or basically just help. So go man ah. Uh, would be something you would cry if you were in need of help. It's also something you'll hear sometimes at work or in the office or <laughs> anytime somebody needs saving from a job they don't want to do or something, then you'll hear like, oh man, ah, go man. Because uh, you'll hear that it's actually not as uncommon as you might think because it's not just for an emergency situation. It can be just anytime you want to say, oh, God, save me, rescue me. Uh, and another one I have down here is the... Go save, sang, go sang yun, go sang yun is a lifeguard. Okay, they're saving your life person. Go sang yun. Okay, so go sang yun is your lifeguard. Go mang, go mang ah, go mang ah is your save or rescue. And again, the ah at the end is your particle. Just um, go mang ah, you'll hear that. And go la is enough. And then you get to the Mid rising tones for the go nine go dog go go chai is Chinese chai. So I hope my mistake can turn into your good fortune of learning the differences in the pronunciation of the word go and go. And look forward to my next lesson when we'll be going back to our Let's Talk Cantonese series and moving on to different topics that I hope you'll find interesting. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate all of your comments and for following me and liking my channel, subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. And I'll see you again here on my little Cantonese corner. Bye.